Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Welcome to Sid's Tips. And today we are gonna talk about this digital microscope by OptiTech. Uh, I did another review about four years ago with one of their other microscopes. And this one is really nice. You got this seven inch LCD screen and it's got up to a hundred times magnification. Really, really awesome. Look forward to showing you some examples. I got some great products where we can dive in there a little bit. And also I'll show you how easy it is to put together. Uh, what's great about these uh, microscopes is whether you want to just have some fun, your kids want to really dive in and, and look at something real close, or you're a professional, you want to work on the circuit boards. So across the board, so many uh, great and fun things that you can do with it. And uh, it really is great. And you'll see how great the uh, quality is in there. And you can really do uh, adjusting of the setting and the coloring and all that good stuff. So I uh, will put a link uh, in the description where you can learn more about the microscope, see what other people have to say about it. If it makes sense, you can order it. So appreciate clicking on the link. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. And if you find this video of help, please give it a like. So really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and dive in just a few things. Obviously you got the box. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, good information and highlight. You can see it's got a remote control and uh, which is this remote control. So you can use the remote control, but I find that you can also easily just use the microscope itself. For power, you can use the plug and then USB connection or just go directly to US power, USB power. So you have the option there. And then you have the booklet, which does highlight information. Let me uh, share with you next about installation. So uh, as far as installation, easy to do, as you can see here. Not too bad, just uh, uh, a few, uh, four screws basically. So it does come with a hex wrench, but you will also need a Phillips screwdriver. So if you don't have one, perhaps you can borrow one or you can get one that's very inexpensive. So you will, will need that. Um, with the remote control, it does not come with batteries. So I use uh, rechargeable AAA batteries, two AAA batteries. Uh, so that is something else that you will need if you choose to use the remote control. Also, with the microscope, you can just use the screen. You don't need a computer, which is nice. And if you choose and you do want to look at those files and save them, there is a micro USD slot, which um, I have here. Uh, this is really small. Most of these come with this little adapter piece that you could then plug right in and that goes right into your computer. And if you decide that um, you want to save the files, then you can do that and have them on your computer. So you could, again, shoot that on video as well as photos, and then you are good to go. So uh, next, we'll go ahead and pop this back in. And um, that is, uh, it is nice to have that if you want that. Now you can do up to a 32 gigabyte um, micro SD card, and I'll put one that is recommended to go with. Uh, so right here is the where the power source goes into. Uh, you can see here, uh, this goes up and down, so it's uh, very, very smooth. Now you can adjust this knob here, so it makes it easier to go up, and it also makes sure the knob back here, let me unplug this real quick. And let me get this out of the way. So this knob back here, you can tie it in, then that would make it a hold in place uh, from falling down. These are the LED lights. Uh, you can adjust those. Uh, and then with the screen, you can go up and down. You can go left and right. And then you can adjust there. And then right down here is uh, this piece down here is where you are going to uh, turn the knob to be able to uh, focus uh, in and get that clarity. So it's really well made and then you've got the prongs. So if you wanna have something attached to that. So what I wanna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and bring my camera in closer. We're going to look at some products, dive in there. I'll show you the different features in there. 
and uh, then you'll be able to have fun with this yourself should you move forward with it and uh, I am looking forward to diving in and seeing what you think and it really is cool when you actually get real close to a product and, and, and it's like wow that's pretty neat uh, so here we go let me go ahead and set this up and let's have some fun okay so let's go ahead and dive in I've got uh, some money I've got uh, this reflector piece I've got uh, the safety bracelet for hiking, a key, uh, and some change. So we're going to dive in and we'll have some fun. So right here, you have where you can turn it on and you got your brightness level. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. As you can see, the LED lights are nice and bright. And then you can adjust uh, where you want those to go. So up here, you got your power button. You got your menu function, your up and down arrows, OK, and camera. And then your screen, and then it will, if you're recording, uh, you'll see it says standby and record. So we'll show you the video. You can uh, control a lot from the remote control if you choose to want to. So let's go ahead and first dive in. I'll show you uh, a lot of the features. So to get to the features, you press and hold the M button, and that's going to take you to you got your video resolution. So if you go in there, it's got full HD 30 frames, uh, HD 30 frames per second. Click OK. You got sound record, exposure, white balance, color, contrast, saturation. Now these areas might be important for someone that's really particular about coloring. If you go down a little further, you have sharpness and gamma. So if you press M again, that will take you to the next section where you have your clock settings, your date format, watermark, language, frequency, format, SD card, and reset up. And again, if you click OK, or with the remote control. So if I wanted to go in and click OK, that would, so you have to put it at an angle with the remote control, I find. Um, it's, it's a lot easier when you just go right into, uh, you know, into the clock or whatever it is by clicking the buttons on there. So we're gonna back out of that. And if I back out again, now we're there. All right, now first let's go ahead. Uh, we'll start with this cool product. This is a reflector and you can turn it on the flashes but we're gonna go ahead and put that underneath there now you can see how cool is that to think this reflector piece looks almost looks like crystals and then if you want to go down a little further you can go down and then you can use the you can use the focus and really get in there so look at that how cool is that and now you can you can make the screen brighter or you could make the screen less bright so you can control that there now if I want I could also zoom in so you can zoom in with the remote so you can do times this is times two and that is times four so how cool <laughs> look at when you break that down uh, the detail you could see in there you can even see the scratches now if you want to go out you can also use the arrow button so you can, you can go that way too as I mentioned. Now if I want to take a photo of this, I'm going to just press the photo icon and that just flashed red, that's standby. If I want to take a video, if I click OK, it's now saying record. So as I move this around and I want to see the, you know, because I want to go back and look at some, something specific, so it's recording now and it's showing the amount of time. I'm going to click OK again and then you're done. Now, if you wanted to go see those the photos and videos, what you're going to do is you're going to click M. Normal folder is where the video is. I'm going to click OK. If I click OK again, that will take you into the folder and now into that file. And you could see that is the video. There is no audio. Uh, if you have a microphone, you could record the microphone with your video and stitch that together. Now, if I want to delete that, I can click the camera icon here and then select uh, delete folder. So you can say yes, click OK, and now it's deleted. Now, if I press the menu button again and I go down to photo, click OK. And you can see there are some photos. I can click OK, and there is the photo. So very, very cool. And then if I want to go back, and I want to go to the next one, I could use the arrow buttons, and I could see any of the photos there. Click OK, and there you go. 
Now if I click back, M, and then if I click the camera icon again, then I could delete that, click OK, and it's done. And then you could do the same thing for all your files. So very, very cool. All right, now let's dive in and look at a quarter. So let me now focus in. Look at that. And you can really, really get in close. Now I could lower this even lower. Let's see if I could lower that. And now I could look at that. That is awesome. I'm gonna even try and get lower. Let's see if we can get that clarity. So it won't focus in there. I have to go a little bit higher. Now, if I want to get even closer, I want to zoom up. That's two. And then that is four. And then again, you could, might have to go up a little bit, but you can really get in there and you could see the eye there. And there is, you can really, really get a good feel. So how cool is that? All right, so that is 25 cents. Actually, let's look at the back here a second. Got this, put that the right side up. And you can look at all the scratches on that. That is amazing how you can really get in to see the detail uh, of what you're looking at. Let's try the penny. This is the penny. We're gonna go up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go zoom back out to normal. And I think actually as well, you can adjust the brightness with the remote control. And you'll have on the box, there is uh, details on the box of all the, what all the different buttons are for. But again, you've got controls right there. So I'm gonna go up a little bit. We can, here we take a quick look. And you can adjust the coloring and everything. So you can really uh, get in there quite a bit. We'll go back down. Let me see if I can zoom. Get that. So we probably need to just go up just a little bit. There we go. And there's Lincoln. Now we're gonna go ahead and zoom. That's Sometimes it's a little bit close, but you could see all those lines and scratches. All right, so that's that. Now let's look at a key. We could next look at this key. Let's move this up just a little bit. And again, hopefully this will give you an idea by looking at all these different items, uh, you know, how cool that, that is. And you can really have a lot of fun with this. So you can let me get that sharpened up. So you can see all, look at that, look at that, that detail if you are, want to see something specific. And you can see how the, the curvature and the key is and you know, that, you know, for your specific lock. So very cool there. So that is a key. Next we have this bracelet, which is uh, for like hiking. And we'll put that in there. And look at that, look at the thread on that. Now you can, you should be able to tighten this so it doesn't move around as much, but I'm gonna go ahead. And there you go, that is a real good close up of that thread. Now if I wanna, again, get really close to see the stitching. Actually that is the, that's two and that's normal. So you can see what it normally looks like real close. But now if you really want to get in and zoom in, that is times four. So really amazing. The last thing I want to share with you and show you, this is a case for a microphone that I have. And let's take a look at this one. We'll go ahead and get that a little clearer. I'd have to go up just a little bit. All right, so that is, I think, set at, we're gonna go to normal. 
So that's normal, okay. And again, you can readjust with the brightness and then raising it and lowering it. So if we wanted to go out a little bit higher, you can do that and you can see all the stitching that goes into this casing. And then you could dive in deeper there. So there you go, really nice digital microscope. You can have a lot of fun, again, with your family, with your kids, uh, or for your business. Let me know if you have any questions. Appreciate the company sending me this new microscope. Really, really cool. Check it out today, and I'll try and answer any questions you have. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.